What's up everybody? It's Neil with Nexus 7 Softmodder. Today I'm going to show you how to make multitasking even easier on your Nexus 7 device. So initially with Google you can uh, multitask pretty easy on the Nexus. Just uh, hit that soft key and see all your recently used apps are still open actually. And um, I mean that's cool, it makes it easy but I want to access the apps that I want when I want to and I don't want it to click home or anything. So I'm going to show you how to do that with this awesome application called Edge Quick Actions. Let's just go through it. So let's open it up. Let's just go through the setup. But first initially accessing this uh, this thing is just from swiping left to right. I'm going to bring up your little quick bar. But let's go through the options and make it your own. All right, there's three main options. There's show slash hide elements. From here, you can do uh, show recent apps. So when you slide it over, it's going to show you recent apps, just like that soft key, lame. Or you can do show your favorite apps, which is awesome and the one I prefer. After you do that, select your five most used or favorite apps that you want to access whenever you want. It's that easy. Next, you can uh, adjust the top shortcuts and bottom shortcuts. The shortcuts are these, like the soft keys above and under the apps. I've had no problems with anything else like a um, home, app drawer, you can do those. I put home and I put app drawer just so it's so I can get in and out of things easily. easily. Um, and a little perk, if you're rooted, you can actually do a, a search toggle, which just brings up the Google search bar. Um, you can go back, you can click menu, you can power down your screen, but you have to be rooted. But if you don't care about those little shortcuts, then don't worry about it. So you set up your bar with everything that you want. Alright, so let's go to active edge settings. This is going like, to actually let you set up how you want it. Do you want it on the left side? Do you want it on the right side? I like it on the left side. Um, change the sensitivity. I like mine high, not too high, but high, just so I make sure, because I had some issues when it was on medium, I had to do it a couple times. And then the position, do you want it up top? Do you want it on the bottom? I find it easy in the middle. You can actually expand the sensor to your whole screen if you want, but I wouldn't suggest that just because other applications and your launcher require you to swipe to access other screens. So there's that. Okay, and you'll see a preview of it flashing red. Alright, see? There you go. Alright, general settings. One touch mode. Let's show you this real quick. One touch mode means you can do this without lifting your finger. I actually don't like this because, I don't know, I guess my fingers suck, but I always end up like lifting my finger and it goes away. So I just do that just so I can slide and then pick. I find it easier that way. Um, start on boot, vibrate, straightforward. Um, that's basically it. I mean, as you can see, it's super easy. You can access your applications whenever you want. Um, that guy looks cool. Um, bring it up whenever you want. You want to go home. I'm home. Want to bring up my app drawer. Boom, I'm in my app drawers. Um, it's super easy. There's a pro version. Uh, for more details, and uh, I go into a little bit more, check out the article on Nexus 7 Softmodder. Hope you guys enjoy it. Comment, subscribe, and thanks.